So I posted this picture of me and Jericho on my YouTube community tab and so many of you liked it and said such wonderful comments. Thank you so much. And somebody even asked, how did you get this shot? So it goes along with the first way that you can form a strong bond with your cat. It's a really weird one. I've never even heard it around, but this exactly <laughs> ties right into that picture and that's exactly how me and Jericho have such a strong bond. I've had cats my whole life. Jericho is the 12th cat that I've had in my personal life. My mom adopted another cat after him, so now I've got 13 cats total in my personal life. And I've also had hundreds of cats in my professional life working as a cat sitter. And I've been able to create a very strong bond with all of these cats. Jericho and I have the strongest bond that I've ever had with any cat. So I'm gonna talk about four different ways that you could form a strong bond with your cat, how I form a strong bond with my cat. Hey friends, it's Justin Jericho. It is a blessing that you are here. Hallelujah. So the first thing that you can do to form a strong bond with your cat is let your cat sniff you. Have you ever heard this before? I'm sure you've heard of the slow blink, which kind of ties into how I got the shot with Jericho and letting your cat sniff you. I'm sure you've heard slow blink to your cat. And the reason that this works is because you're basically telling your cat, I feel safe and I feel comfortable around you, so much so that I'm gonna close my eyes, just in case you've never heard it before. But have you heard before to let your cat sniff you? And I say let your cat sniff you because <laughs> Jericho loves sniffing me and that's how I was able to get that picture because he was sniffing me. And I also close my eyes when I let Jericho sniff me. And the reason that I do this is because cats are very, very keen on their smells. That's how they know us. They do know us from our voice, which is interesting because one cat sitting client, he used to hide under the bed when he heard me opening the door. And then I'd be like, I saw that. And then he would like crawl out because he knew my voice. So it's cute because, especially for me, because some people either hate my voice and they say like, oh my gosh, your voice is so cringy, I can't even watch. Or they love my voice and they're like, oh my gosh, you should be a singer. <laughs> but with cats and their smells, apparently we have 5 million scent receptors in our noses. Cats have 200 million. So they really, really, really know their way around smells. And another thing that I noticed with cat sitting clients is when I went to their homes, take my shoes off, and I'd be talking with the clients going over the meeting and the cats, I was like, watch, they're gonna put their head straight into my, into my shoe. And they did. Why? Because they love smelling things. They're like, where have you been? I wanna know, who are these other cats that you're visiting? Jericho really likes to smell me also after I eat because I eat a lot of meat and butter. So he's like, mm, what did you just eat? So if you let your cat smell you, I know it sounds weird, but you just let your cat smell you, he's gonna get to know you more and know your smells more. If you go outside for a walk and come back, you let your cat smell you. So he can be like, where have you been? I know Jericho is probably like, who are you cheating on me with? Because I make friends with cats outside. <laughs> And I let them smell me too. They love smelling me. Cats just love to smell. So you could form a strong bond with your cat just letting him smell you. The second way to form a strong bond with your cat is routines. I've talked about this a lot before, but routines are absolutely crucial for cats. They thrive on routines. Now I know out in the wild, they don't have a watch being like, oh, it's 12 o'clock, time for me to hunt for treats. But they do kind of know the, the time of day based on the sun and just based on the routines that they do. And they thrive on routine because it's a survival instinct. So out in the wild, they're not gonna be like, you know what, let me take a chance, let me take a risk and do something different today. Because that could mean their survival, right? They are, they are predators, but they are also prey to bigger predators. So they like to do the same things, they have a, a specific territory that they patrol, and they, they keep it safe. Like they're not gonna just take risks because they know that that could mean their life. So different routines that we can have for our cats, scheduled meal times, on top of it being good because it's a routine, it's also unsanitary to leave food out all day, no matter what you feed. So feeding cats at scheduled meal times can help ease stress, can also help ease the, the bubble guts. You know, some cats, if they know that food is about to come, if they can smell the food and the food doesn't come, they might throw up some bile. And that's because they're anticipating the food, the gastric juices are getting to work. Okay, we're about to digest a meal and then the meal doesn't come and they're like, okay, the stomach is like, we gotta get rid of this pile. So scheduled meal times are absolutely beneficial to your cat. Jericho eats twice a day his main meals and then I also do some training with additional raw food 
That's another wonderful routine that you can have is clicker training. So I use Cat School, my good friend Julie, she has a clicker training kit, teaches you how to clicker train, comes with two clickers. There's one just a handheld clicker and there's one that's called a target stick. So I do this routine in the morning. That's how I implemented it as a routine. I baked it on top of routines that I already have in place. That's a wonderful hack. You gotta do a routine within a routine, like Inception. I think I saw that movie, or maybe I dreamt it. Michael Scott. So anyway, bake your routines on top of routines that you already have in place, then you'll be able to implement it more. So that's what I did with training, because Jericho's always counter surfing, and I'm like, I gotta train him. And I would go through the day, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And then later came, and I didn't do it. So now I do it after I go out for my morning walk, I come back and Jericho expects it. He's excited about it. And I use Viva Raw. This is a complete ground raw food. So I do factor in what I feed him with those treats, with those training rewards into his whole diet so that I'm not overfeeding him. And I really like using Viva Raw because it is complete so and it's ground, so I just roll it up into little tiny balls and it's very easy for me to use. I don't really like to use freeze-dried raw too much just because it's dry and crunchy and Ideally, we would be feeding our cats high moisture, so that's why I choose Viva Raw. You can use my affiliate code if you want. It's just Catacles, and you'll save 20%. You'll also get a free ebook from me, my Switch to Raw ebook. So all around, it's great. I earn a commission, you get a discount, and your cat gets amazing food. Win, win, win. Another routine that Jericho loves is our little cuddle session. He absolutely loves this. So I'm done with work around three, and then I'll cook and I'll clean. And then when I'm done with that, I'll be like, Jericho, you want to come lay down? Come here, Jericho, you want to lay down? He comes running to the bed and he gets nice little scratches and pets and little massages and then he curls up and takes a nap. So implement these little tiny routines. Maybe your cat likes to be petted when you get home from work. Do that, five minutes, doesn't matter. Another routine that Jericho likes is when I'm on the toilet, he jumps up on my lap and then I give him some nice petting and, and uh, massages and basically use my fingers to brush his coat. I also do that after I clip his claws. So I clip his claws and then he lays down on my lap and then I do the same brushing. So again, you know, implement these routines onto a routine that you already have because then your cat will expect it and it'll be easier for you to do. Third thing you can do to form a strong bond with your cat is enrichment. All cats need enrichment, mental stimulation. This prevents stress, behavior issues, and beep can also prevent obesity. So what we want to do indoors is we can provide scratching surfaces and high little furniture pieces for our cats to run up and climb and perch, survey their territory. Scratching is a natural habit that cats have. They all do it. So providing these things for cats to release their natural instincts is going to provide a lot of enrichment. Because if we think about it outside, they have to hunt problem solve, how am I gonna get this prey, attack it, catch it, kill it, eat it. That, that completes the mental stimulation cycle, but indoors, they don't hunt. So providing these perches and, and window perches and condos and trees, and also playing with your cat, because playing is the indoor version of hunting, all of this provides really, really good mental stimulation and enrichment. I would also tack on to here proper litter box maintenance because cats are clean creatures. Think about how many times a day your cat cleans himself. So we wanna make sure that we have a clean, squeaky clean litter box because you wouldn't wanna use a dirty bathroom, neither does your cat. Fourth thing you could do to strengthen your bond, of course, many of you knew I was probably going to say it, diet. Everything comes down to diet. I save the best for last for you. Because you're still watching, you deserve the best. So diet is number one, diet is the foundation, and Jericho eats a homemade raw meaty bones and whole prey diet. And I feel that I have a really strong bond with him because I'm nourishing him with proper food. He's chomping and chewing on those raw meaty bones, whole chunks of meat, and the quail, so he's getting that mental stimulation. And we also share food, so I eat secreting organs, liver, kidney, and spleen. He eats the same ones. I eat them cooked, he eats them raw. <laughs> and then the same with the beef meat, the lamb meat. So it's just really cool to be able to share foods. When I cook salmon, I give him some too. So it just strengthens our bond that way because I know that I'm feeding him an appropriate diet and we're eating from the same good quality places. The farmer's market, obviously the whole play of quail isn't human grade quality, I don't eat that. <laughs> so I do buy it from a raw pet food supplier 
But other than that, I get stuff at the grocery store, at the Asian market, at the farmer's market, shop online for farms because I eat a lot of meat, so I buy it in bulk. So it just makes it easy for me to make him a homemade raw meaty bones diet. So I feel like that strengthens our bond as well. It's species appropriate. I'm eating the same foods and I'm making it easy on myself even though I'm providing the best. So it's just kind of all around a win-win-win. And you can check out this video right over Meow to see how I make feeding raw simple. Thanks for watching.